me, you are going to be with me to see how I paint my turtles and underwater. Now, this is going to take a long process, so if you're just joining now, come along, hang along with me, hang along with me, hang out with me, ask some questions along the way. If you are not interested, that's okay. Go away and come back and there might be another video that you'll enjoy. But this is interactive. I'm not by any means saying I'm the most proficient person out there. I'm just showing you my reality and what goes through my mind as we go. So you've got a little bit of time if you want to have a go at painting with me. I'll just show you how I've got my room set up. I have two reference photos there. I've got my reference... Hello, Cheryl. I've got my reference photos here because that'll show me the true colour and the detail. Now, I have printed out... Hello, Lee. Hello, Cosmic Carol. Some there so I can reference. Now, I recommend that you have reference photos along the way. This is a trial piece I was working on for um, looking into the ocean and just making it look like you've captured a piece of ocean. But um, it's one I'm going to paint over. And I've got some colours there. This evening, we're just going to be painting the backdrop. So a similar feel to that one there. We're just going to try and create a feeling that you're underwater with me. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll start breaking down the principle of this here. So you've got some time to go and catch, go and catch, go and catch a turtle. No, you've got some time to get some acrylics with you. Just go for any kind of blues that uh, speak to you. And also you will want the purple, the yellow, little bit of blue we're going to try and make some of the sandy color so the brownie color and if you haven't already give me a thumbs up but before we do that I'm also going to give you a little bit of a reveal of some of the stuff we did last night I'm hoping I'm going to be in shot for you here if I sit here I'll be able to see oh I've my feet I've my feet all right hopefully I'm in view so hello I'm just checking you can see me kind of I'm there yes let me entertain you so we're just going to remove the ones from last night and i'm going to show you how they come out before we start our painting but feel free to get a cup of tea i've got one and a drink and we're going to see how easily this thing comes away from the stand and the lid sorry i did put that in view for you i'm hoping it is now in view ah oh that's pretty so I believe, oh God, I'm saying so. Oh, oh, I've got it in a mess, look. <laughs> I've pulled it too much. I might not be able to get it back over. Anyway, that has come off. I'll show it you in a little bit of detail. I'm just going to try and rescue my mould that is all bent in on itself. Oh dear, Sharon, what have you done? All right, that's popped back out. But look at the detail on that. And I'm really glad that I had the bronze base. I don't know if you can see, it's quite transparent in the middle there. So love. So that is going to be, I believe, the stand. I might need to level that off. Hope you can see that there. And who else have we got in here? Hello, Amy. Hello, Kimberly. Hello, Alison Lee, Julie, uh, the wonderful Paula, Tati. Um, I said Cosmic Carol, everybody is in here, lush. All right, I said it, lingo bingo. We're gonna get these out of the way because then I can get on with some painting. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can. <laughs> They're very soft. Oh, oh, she's fine. It always feels like you're giving birth to a mold when they're coming out for the first time. Julie, welcome. Anna, welcome. Uh, Charlene, welcome. Good morning to the wonderful people in Australia. Just going to try and flip this out before I ruin my fingers. Ah! Wow, this is not wanting to come out of the mould easily. It's going to shoot forward into my iPad at this. <laughs> oh! Okay, the detail's lovely. Oh! Wow, I hope this mould bends back and I don't ruin it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, real life drama. All right, give it a twist. Oh, oh, 
oh I'm very happy with the colour so on the outside might be able to see here or not transparent there let's show you if you can see the light through there maybe yeah it's transparent there and the detail on that it's like a crown you see that there absolutely love it and love that copper love the detail I could go in here and gold highlight if I want it's mainly just the dark blue there are a few holes in that one quite a few holes that's my own fault but look at that so allegedly this then stands on there oh it's like my own goblin is it goblin 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 hello Johnny how are you what's a gym did I say gym oh yeah what is a gym anyway molds are back and then the final one, which is meant to be the lid, so if I sand my... Oh wait, you can't quite see the glory there, I can. It's on its stand, look. And then we're doing the final one. This was the one where I was <laughs> squeezing the nipple yesterday. This one's coming out the best. Oh, oh yes, look at that lid. Lush. Uh, if, if it was uh, drinking safe, I could, I could, I could use this now when there's ever, ever any drawers, or you know, have a little drink, put a little straw in there. Anyway, I think that is a stunning mould. It's an expensive one. I do love the colours I've chosen as well. Lush, and that stand, I just need to level it off there. Would be good for standing a few other things on there. I mean, look, it's a posh place to put my paints, paint brushes now. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I'm going to stand that there in pride of joy in case anybody comes back and asks what I did with my mould. It might fall. I might have to put it somewhere safe, but I will come back and have a little look. It is gorgeous, isn't it, Johnny? It's like you are the winner of the goblet. Oops. And then I drop it in my cup of tea. Very happy with that one. And now we're going to look at, <clears throat> excuse me, coughing, the jewellery. Might need to stand up for this, but remember we had the jewellery? Just going to pop these bad boys and have a little look at these colours and how they came off. But that one was the one that I had the run, but I managed to pull it back and tidy it up after it all left me. Oh, oh, love. It's giving me some natural crackle effect at the back. So that's the back. Hope you can see it. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a natural like crackle effect in there. So those have responded beautifully together having the powder with the pigment. And the front, I think, is lush. And then the side, um, beautiful, transparent. So number one mould, I'm going to keep putting back in here and show you, they're coming out beautifully, so this is a lush mould. So very similar, that bronze and that crackle, Ooh, don't know if you can see that. Ah, don't want to get my chicken wings in there. So love, love, love the effects you've got in there. I'm going to be stocked up on jewellery. I so am. Uh, very similar look, but look at that. They're decent sizes. I just love this back area. Its backside is lush. It's a lush backside. We'll speed this up because we're going to get on with the paint. Now, I don't know if you can hear the ocean lapping. I put ocean music on for a change today instead of birds. So another one. These are all come out. Absolutely. So these are the ones where they are ones that you would pop in here i just want to have a little look oh bent a little bit that one because there's not a lot in there so that's how i love it that's how one came out yesterday so I'm, i did manage to keep the colors separate i don't know if you can see that on there but that one is going to go which one's it going to go in sharon is it that one yeah 
maybe. Yeah, so that one I'm going to put in there and then I'll fill it with the other blue that I did. And then this one. Ah, it's a bit bendy because it's still fragile. But we've still got the gradiating colours and you've got that beautiful effect there. I'm going to stick them straight back in here while they're bendy. I will check chat. I will check chat. <laughs> Oh, you're going to be very fragile because they do bend look. Ah, <laughs> oh, lush. I'll show you close up when I get them back in here. I promise, I promise. Have you all been on this Saturday? I did a 10 hour shift. So I'm feeling a little bit tired, but I'm feeling good. I've got to work out how that's going to go. I don't know how I'm meant to fit that one in there. You were done with jewelry pieces yesterday. Look great, went back this morning. They're like, oh, stuck to the table. Don't you just not like that? How is this one meant to go? They don't come with L plates. Oh, wait, wait, that like that. Oh, it's like a big puzzle. So I will finish those off tomorrow, but they've all now fit in the mould ready for topping up I think I'm just gonna go with like a that light blue by itself but there's some beautiful ridges in there and beautiful tones so that is going to be lush now this was one that I did to top up one that was like that I filled it in and I'm curious to know if the resins leaked underneath and if I just need to dome them so I'm gonna get that one out Oh, oh, lush, <laughs> lush, 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 lush. So I don't need to do Oh, there's one tiny air hole. So, 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 that's my word of the day. There's some air bubbles trapped in there, but I actually really like it. And you can see all the ridges. I hope you can. Let's have a little look. You can see all the ridges in there. I'll move it slow to see if you can see the colour. You might need to dome there, but oh, 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 love, love, love. Very enjoying that. This was the other half of one that I put in there. Oh, oh, no, it's not. This is the, <laughs> this is the base of one. It's very similar to the others. So that's the back. I'm just going to put that in there. They're very bendy because the middle part's so thin and there's very little resin in there. It's still curing. But at least I know they're going to come out and they're going to look nice. Wow. Love, love, love. Sorry, I'm getting an eye, eye candy. Don't know if you can see that one here. I'm trying to show you so you can see the transparency of it. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe the torch is going to go in your eye. But I'm trying to see if you can see the depth in there and the colour. It's just stunning. And the back of it is like that. So, really enjoy that one as well. They all look very similar to you all. I'm so sorry. But I'm having fun. I love jewellery shopping. So, to have created myself something, love. Alright, that's so bendy. This is what I mean about bendy. <laughs> because it's such a thin piece. So I am going to stick that bad boy in there, ready for tomorrow. So we have some more I can finish off tomorrow. And then I'm going to actually finish them off as jewellery. And then the last, last ones, these were the square one so straightforward oh we've got the crackle effect again look how deep blue that one is that's with the deep darkest indigo love that contrast now you can't see it but there is a little bit of transparency coming through and the crackle in there is just stunning beautiful beautiful textures it's like a slice of the ocean but yet not 
Oh, dear, what a great colour combination for, for some art. So they're just mini versions of it. So they're very nice. You don't get the crackles so much in there, but you do get to see the different colours. Oh, 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 lush, lush, lush. I've got to read all the... <laughs> Your dog is now safe. Enjoy those lovely pieces. What did I say? What did I say? Let's have a look. With cat. What? What have I missed? Oh, you poor thing. Beautiful. Uh, and I say... Uh, the cat's scared of me. I think I've lost the thread. I'll have to catch up. But the final piece of jewellery... Oh, oh, sorry about my nails. There we go. That looks like a lady. I can see a lady. It's like Cinderella. She's got her hair up in a bun and she's got a very long dress. Um, and she's going to the ball. Can you see that? And then there is stars all around her. <laughs> that's where my imagination goes. So that's the jewellery out the way. I'll move that out the way not too far out of the way and then last but not least let's see what this one uh, ended up being like underneath and then I may have to dome it tomorrow but I'm curious to know if my gold has transferred over and what that's gonna look like now I forgot to rub it when it was in there so there might be lots of little bubbles but that's okay I can add an another doming of uh, resin on top of it and then I'm going to tip it over and peel it and we're going to have a little look. Oh. Oh. It definitely looks rustic, which is where I was going for. I don't know if you can see it with a reveal here. Let's have a little look. slowly pulling it off so the colours have come through you can definitely see different colours it's very stuck to it though <laughs> I think that's where the gold's coming off into the, oh, into the resin got a pain in my neck then I hope I wasn't being bit by a spider oh I like that my kettle or teapot is going to look lovely on that all the gold came off <laughs> yay and let me show you. So very rustic, but you do see, I don't know if you can see those colours coming through. And the back it's like this, so nothing too sexy at the back. But at the front it's like this, and I hope you can see the light coming through so you get to see the transparency that I'm seeing. There we go. How lovely is that? And that colour combination, I'm really enjoying with the darks and the lights. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. So, definitely worth that mould. I am going to put some, I think I'm going to put some felt underneath. I don't think it's, yeah, I probably will put a um, some resin over the top but whenever you get it like this it's hard to do I love I could actually stand that up as art on a piece I quite like that anyway shall we get on with some painting let me move these out of the way so they don't get ruined because I'm terrible at slapping slapping paint where paint's not meant to be Oh, I wobbled, what, I wobbled you then, I wobbled you. All right, let me see what's happening in chat. I didn't say all right, I said right. And let's have a little look. Uh, so you're all, all good. You're all enjoying. Great idea, put the kettle on. I've got my cup of tea, look. Ready, I'm gonna slurp my cup of tea. 
Now, please don't worry about me destroying this painting. You might not be worried, you might think it needs destroying, Sharon. It was a prototype where I was working on, but I want to recycle. My reference from a project with Miss Felicia, and that's my flower I did. So I'm just gonna get myself a little bit organized, I'm gonna move some things out of the way. I wanna be able to see chat and what's going on. Oh, well, I'm all sixes and sevens. Now that's gonna go down. And we are going to start painting. Now, I encourage you to have reference photos. If you really, really are frightened of drawing a turtle and you've never done one before, print, apologies, print yourself off a picture and cut around it like a stencil to the size you want and then stick it on here. Then at least if you trace around the body, you're gonna be happy. But tonight we're gonna to focus on this area here and we're gonna try and create an illusion of being underwater. Now you can do it with, I just realized I forgot my water. I'm gonna to have to get some water to do my brushes. Do it in whatever blues you're happy with. The, the, the most important thing is you wanna go with your horizon where it's darker, because that's gonna make it look like the ocean is going further away. You then wanna gradiate into it being slightly lighter here, because uh, that's maybe where the ocean's rolling. And then your blues will come through to the grayish sandy color here and here and then you can pick you can do some darker areas you can do some lighter areas and um it's just basically going to be the same color so it's going to be a couple of blues and then it's going to be a the sandy color but more gray with a little bit of blue through there and then we'll lighten it up a little bit and have some fun with some lines we might not get it all done this evening it could be a project that we do over a couple of days or a couple of weeks but if you want to paint along, I encourage you to. Again, hashtag disclaimer, I am not the best artist out there. I'm not the most proficient artist. I'm not trained in any way. I paint because I enjoy it. I go with gut feeling and I learn along the way. And the hardest thing is sometimes to start a project, but I encourage you, practice. Because with each one, even if you think it's a fail, you will have learned something. You will have learned something. Now, is this camera angle going to be okay for you? Give me a thumbs up if you feel that it's going to be an okay angle for you. Curly, yes you did miss the unmoulding. Goodbye, who's left me just now, that's okay. And I hope that you're all okay, wherever you are in the world. Hello Gloria. Uh, where did you get those moulds? They were from Resinate, and I believe they had a sale on at the weekend, so go to Resinate. Uh, in the UK they've got some moulds there beautiful selection very uh, when I say very expensive not very expensive they are expensive but they're worth it and look at my goblet that I made from it I mean it's just lush I feel like I've won I've won something this evening and I don't know what it is but I feel grateful <laughs> all right I have oh I said it all right all right all right just pour some copper and the dark blue dominoes and a coaster. Oh, you've just poured some. All right, we've got lots of thumbs up, so you're happy with the angle. Also, if you are an artist and you have your own art channel and you would like for people to pop over, have a look at your creation, show some support, uh, put a heart at the side of your name. The YouTube art community is a big one. There is enough spaces in, us, in it for all of us. Uh, so if you want people to go over and check your channel out, put a heart at the side of your name. If you're watching this in replay, which means I'm your past, but you're my future. No, I'm, I'm your past and you're in the present. <laughs> Have a look at the live chat if you've not seen what's going in there. It might make sense what we're talking about. But put some hearts at the side of your name and we will get people to visit you. L bear with me while I just go get some water. And I will be back in the words of Arnold. I make use of all of my um, mayonnaise. <laughs> jam jars for my water and I've got a selection of blues I don't know how dark I'm gonna go because 
if you can see this angle here the true colour is a lot lighter now this is meant to be under a wave that's rolling into the shore and in my mind I want to have a cheeky little hem swimming towards it so you might not want it on the angle that it is here you might want it however you want you might want it full on you full on you uh, but that's up to you the paints I'm working with they're just little Amsterdam ones so these are the Amsterdam standard ones I've picked up some colors that are sort of pre-made and what do I mean by that there's a turquoise uh, there's a brilliant blue there's a cyan there's an ultramarine and there's a light blue I might not need all of those the way I paint is I just put a few blobs on my canvas and then see which one I like a look of I try and get some blending in there I might graduate out you do whatever you want to do um, there's no real rules to this just have some fun all right all righty then I said it lingo bingo I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush so I'm going to try and get some nice strokes in there. If I was using oils, this was done in oils originally, um, you get some better blending. Now, Alison, stick with it. You will get good at this. Stick with it. Let, make sure your brush is wet. If your canvas is thirsty, you could put water on the canvas to start with. But, yeah. I am going to start. So you're getting to see my face and my chin and the weird facial expressions I paint. I don't know if you got to see this side of me last time we painted together or if it was just my hands. I just put a little bit down on here because that inspires me. I quite like that turquoise. I do need some of that lighter blue. So I only put a little bit on because these dry so quick. Once I've got this done in acrylics we'll come down and we'll do rounds of oils as well um so i am gonna now this is going to be a fairly small canvas so what that means is my turtle's not going to be that big but that's all right we can we can do it if you've got a big canvas you might find that easier to work on so all I've done there is look where my dark points are and just starting to come in at a little angle. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing it my way. If I go into my creative process, which means I go very quiet, apologies, that's just me trying to feel the canvas. I'm also, feel the canvas, but I'm also trying to see, because this has a colour underneath it, some of these pigments might end up being transparent so I might have to add a lot more colour in there to get it to do what I want to do. The joys of working on an over canvas and not a new one. Now the reason I do that is it costs money. Like, I've got to keep cost effective where possible to me. To me. And I'm just going to keep going like this back and forth I might have to come over it with a few layers you feel that you can do that as well I'm just slowly gradiating my colors at the minute I this is how I work on my composition which might seem really strange for some people but I like to um, feel my way with the paint and the brush feel feel the way I'm a bit strange today I think it's because I did a 10 hour shift Stranger than normal, people. Don't be afraid, though, to do multiple layers and then keep dragging your brush over to blend those in. And then what I'm liking there is, because my brush has been going in it and over it and under it and blending, it, to me it helps with that sense of a churning. Blue is Sharon's colour. <laughs> Tatty it is, but we're coming in with some brown tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Miss Felicia, welcome. I've got paint on my cheek. Do you know what? It gets everywhere. It's going to be, I've had it here, here. It's because you'll probably notice I sit back a lot and I look and I touch like I've just done then. And um, before you know it, I'll have it everywhere. I am the most messiest painter. Anyway. So this does then round off a little bit here. So this is narrower here to here. 
So I am going to start trying to level this off. So, so is my word of the day, lingo bingo. I will give this a second coat. So at the minute I'm just trying to understand where the composition will be and then I'll come back and tweak it. But it's also blanking out this colour here. So I would love to know who is being brave and having a go at painting along with me, who is watching or who will be braver later to give it a go. I'm curious. Just bringing that more. And I'm not going to try and get it, I'm not trying to get this identical to this reference photo here. Otherwise, I may as well just stick that on a canvas post and go, there you go, it's done. <laughs> I'm just using it to help me guide with the tones or how it could look. And don't feel like that that's cheating doing that. You just need a reference photo. All right, let me see what's happening with chat while I take a cup of tea. Not tea, drink. Uh, Miss Crafty, no, it's only okay. I hope you're feeling okay. Hopefully she got some more unboxing. Um, and the lady coming out of them bubble bath has her... Oh, what did I say? Have I missed something? Oh, I'm cracking today. What are you... Are you using watercolours or oils? I'm actually using acrylic uh, today, Teresa. I... I'm going to have a play with these. I think people who watch the channel have got more acrylics than they have oils. So we're going to go with that tonight. Continue playing. And for a live, it is much better because it dries much, much quicker. And as I say, we're not going for realism. This is going to be the backdrop to our turtle. And this is just showing you how I break down my process. Well, I'm actually loving. Now, if you want the blending to be better, you can just add a little bit of water to your brush and that will blend through. This is quite nice though. This is staying a little bit moister than the one I had the other day. So that's kind of cool. And I'll leave a little bit of it on my brush so that I'm going to drag her through bits through here. I didn't finish that sentence then. <laughs> Just so that it helps blend some of those tones in. Alright, not so bad. What I'm going to try and do now is just focus a little bit on the sand. Maybe coming down this way. Sorry, I had a cup of tea then. Drink. Um, I don't think there's any question. Don't drip your brush in your drink. <laughs> I know, I really need a drink, I've been working a long shift and I've just literally had tea and then I've come up with you, so apologies if people have fears or phobias of people drinking or anything like that, um, needs moss, just avert your eyes. I'm putting a tiny little bit of the light blue in here, just while this is wet to see what this is going to do to it because you can start to see at the bottom here, you get this really nice bright, and I think it might be a nice transition as we go through to the sand. And what this will do is start flattening the bottom, because you want to start to anchor where the floor is, like here, and then where the, the ocean is, or the water is. I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, as I say, I probably will come back and do a second coat in here, depending on how it feels. I hope you're all well. If you haven't already, please remember to give me a thumbs up. That is really, really helpful for my channel. It helps YouTube continue to share my channel out there, and it's a way of saying thank you to me for sharing my art or process, or just the art community with each other. Yep, so this is now ready for, so I just had to correct, oh God, I really bad backache today. I just wanted to correct my 
ocean floor here it was going a bit too far down there so I've just noticed it needs to be angled so it's almost coming down like that so I'm just correcting and that's the brilliant thing with paint you can just keep correcting keep correcting until you're happy you see my head keep going like this I, I realize that I have the worst paint face Gonna have a go at now making our little stan grey. Great colours, love how you vibrant they are. Thank you, I'm glad you can see them. We definitely, I think I need to thicken up the darker area here. But at the minute I'm gonna work on the sand and then it gives this time to dry a little bit. And I'm gonna try and work on these shades here. Is what I'm thinking. So we're going to need a tiny little bit of purple, and a little bit of yellow. I'm going to try and get two different shades of this if I can, a darker one and a lighter one just because there are contrasting colours and they more or less come back that way as though it's a ripple. So don't think to yourself, if you're proficient I apologise, I'm not telling you how to suck eggs. I'm just trying to talk out loud about some of the things you need to remember if you are painting. Don't draw an ocean, draw what you're seeing and all I'm going to start doing is seeing shapes. So I've seen a shape go down that way, I've seen it graduating in that way and now I can see lots of shapes going this way. So I'll run some dark and some lights, hopefully it won't be too obvious but let's see how we go here. Add a little bit of white. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. So that was a little bit of the, uh, what have I got there? Dioxine purple. And a little bit of cadmium light. So if you're going to work with yellows, light goes in the ocean, warm goes on the sand on the outside. And then you add a little bit of water until you get your sand colour. Now I'm going to use that as a base and then I'm going to use another one that's lighter. But because it's not oils, I'm going to have to work quick. A little bit white. And then if you have it too to too toned, that's scar music. If it goes too dark or too light you just add more colour until you get to the right consistency that you want. But there is going to be a tiny little bit of blue in there so I'm going to add a tiny little blue so you almost get like a little grey. Now you might not see that with your eye but this has got a blue tinge to it in here or there and that's all we're trying to do. So we've done our basic sand colour but we've had a little, little bit of blue in there just to give us that tinge through there. So I hope you saw what I did there. Um, and if we need to go back over it we will. So I am just going to be going, just going to be bringing this way. If I feel it's too light or too dark we can correct that, there's no issues with that whatsoever. I think one's a bit too. I'll just make that a little bit. So hopefully by the time with me by the time with me coming in and doing a few different shades there, you might get a feeling that there is a little bit of a movement there. You might not. I'll keep working it until I am happy. can see that I'm losing my not losing my shapes but my shapes are not quite this part I might oh, I can't I've stuck my I've stuck my canvas to the board so it doesn't roll off <laughs> I'm just gonna twist it around I'd have to take my whole easel with me hello Petra welcome I hope that you are well wherever you are in the world Excuse my arm while it covers here. I'm just working on my shading of my sand. Just trying to focus where it's going to be now. It doesn't have to be too straight up because... Graduating that round a bit there. And by the time it's there, it's actually quite... We'll just add a little bit more blue to it there. So what I'm going to start doing now is dragging a little bit of that blue through again, the little dark colour. And I'm going to gradiate it out, like it, almost like it's 
kind of sunrise but not just to get that little bit of blending through there with the water rippling it's almost blue just there that's what we're looking at there oh I added more cream there than I needed just gonna add a little bit more blue to that but well, hopefully you can start to see there's a little bit of um, blue there oh, get the wrong one maybe you can't maybe it's all in my head okay so i've got a little bit more obvious with my blue there because that transitions out a little bit there and again i'm just looking at shading or blocking i'm not looking at trying to get the image right just yet just trying to blend that through and then we definitely want to come um deeper but I think what I'm going to do is just make up a little bit more, I hope you can see this, a little bit more purple in there. We're going to try and get this a little bit deeper. It's a little bit too purple. Well, purple's quite nice actually. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on here to see where I think. I want to go a little bit yellower. I hope everybody's okay. You, you're such a great community. You all help, help each other out, have conversations with each other. For people that's coming in and going out, it's okay. So now that's gone a little bit too yellow. A little bit more purple. Add a little bit of blue in there. No, I think I might have to take my watch off. I've got a new strap that I really love, but I keep getting uh, it dangling in my paint. I don't want to get this one ruined. It gives me positive energy and a calming influence. I'm just going to take that off. How beautiful is that? Love it. When you're watching a live, you get a phone call. Has somebody got a phone call? What have you got in your head? What have you got in your head? Oh, I miss so much. I miss so much. So I'm not too worried about filling all this yet because there's going to be a lot of white. It's going to be a lot, considerably a lot lighter. But I'm just trying to get some darker uh, colours happening. So I'm just putting a little bit more. Hope you can see. So, so am I getting more and more paint on my face as it goes on? <laughs> I'm adding a little bit of blue just to try and get a little bit more greyer. I'm just mixing lots of different tones and then just trying to hopefully give a sense of maybe ripples don't know if you can see that there almost like a woo, ripple that's happening just going to get everything off my paintbrush. I'm wetting it a little bit and I'm just going to try and blend it a little bit. So I've just basically added a bit of water, removed any paint and just trying to blend some of these tones together so it's a little bit more subtler until I get my composition right. You might get to see you get to see me. This is what I really do. Rolling backwards and forwards. Hello, Chippy. Hello, Shirelaine. I hope I said no. Um Sharon, you're such a sweetie that you naturally attract great people to watch you. Why thank you. Thank you very much. We're, it's like the circle of love. 
we attract each other and we keep coming round. And it is such an unflattering view of me and my double chins. But at least my grey roots are okay for you all today. Anyway, I am going to start to try. Start to try? What is that language I just used then? I'm going to try and make this a little bit more grey. So just by adding a little bit more blue to that, you're making it grey. doesn't bother me that it's got blue tinges in there because it's underwater. But I know that there's going to be... I'm just looking here. was a bit strong there. All right, all righty. I am now going to go back and add some of the deeper blue. Add a bit more deeper blue there. So you see me figure this out live people. The reason I've got that blue there I don't know if you can see it's added more glue more glue to the grey to what the sand, more glue. So that if I bring it this way, hopefully it's gonna to start to blend into where that blue's hitting the face. That's the idea. And then as we blend through, it's gonna look like this attaches to that. That's the theory. I'm really good at explaining what's going off in my head, aren't I? <laughs> Not at all, Sharon. You are terrible. All right, similar colours to that, so I'm happy with that. And then we're going to have to do a very similar colour to up there. Because these are almost the same colour. In my head they are anyway. If this is like paint drying for you, I understand if you don't want to stay with me. But maybe people just want to pop in for a little natter, a little cup of tea, and then there they go. I definitely need to come back down with my blue to balance that out. That was me just looking. Always, 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 by the way, <laughs> keep standing back like I'm doing. Gain perspective. Try and see it through fresh eyes and see what you're happy with or what you're not happy with. And you've got time to change it. And again, I am not trying to be picture perfect. I'm actually pushing myself with this one because this will only be the third underwater one that I've done like this. So you're seeing me work through this together all right the base is is right but i'm now going to just because it's bugging me i'm going to sort that center piece out that's okay alison it is like well, when i've got this when I've got this done anyway, we're coming back to paint the turtle tomorrow. So that's the that's probably the most exciting part for you. But I am just going to fix this centerpiece now. I want, I want to start to get my... Um, what am I trying to do? Get my perspective right. So I'm just going to start to widen up my, my bit here. widen it up by having that bit of dark coming through which is more going to be like this okay perspective is coming back 
So you're going to see me just rubbing my hair and putting things over and <laughs> you've seen the struggles of Sharon as she's doing this and we are definitely where the wave rolls there is like a little dark place up there as well so I'm going to take that under where that wave's rolling very thin line all right all right all right I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy with where it's going I can see about five stages ahead of where I'm going you might not you might be going holy moly Sharon what are you doing and where are you taking this i'll be like well come on a journey with me and you might see or you might not so i start to get as i start to get my composition right i get a little bit more liberal with my brush strokes because i as i've said before i quite like the rustic look all right i'm going to start to bring in some of that lighter color again now Who's with me? I feel like a monkey. I'm missing out on chat doing this. I look at what? Oh, well, well. Paula, I really could do with you in my ear, my lovely. <laughs> oh my god, look away at chat. With these fine folks, then I look up and boom, there's a picture's come to life. Oh, I hope that you're enjoying this. It's slowly coming to life. Slowly, slowly, but I'm glad you're noticing each time it'll start to get a little bit better. But we don't want this to be picture perfect. I'll keep telling you that because then I'll feel better about it. We want it so that it's going to complement the illusion of what our turtle is doing, which is swimming and distance and perspective. So keep angling this out. a little bit sometimes I don't question I'm like well why is it going why does it go a little bit lighter there and I'm like don't try and work it out Sharon just that's where the wave is rolling just work on your blocking of colors and shading where everything else is and jobs are good at all right try to bring that a little bit more all right then I'm going to build in a slightly lighter but I'm just going to no. Sorry, I know. Have I drunk you for apologising? Why am I apologising for you coming into my art studio and having a sneaky look at how I paint? I don't know. I think it's the typically British thing, isn't it? All right, I'm going to come out a little bit like that as though now that ocean's rolling. So you can see now I've changed the angle of my paintbrush. And what I'm trying to do is get that little jaggedy edge a little bit, not too much, which is showing you where that probably water is rippling above so we're removing ourselves away from the solid lines now and there's a few odd little sort of streaks I should look at chat in case Paul is shouting at me for something. I'm just going to keep blending while I've got wet. Wet is good for blending. See, I still haven't got like triangle right here I 
I do it, I call it, it's the dance with the acrylics. Go back, go forth, go back, go forth. Until you are happy. But every time I'm adding a layer, you can see what was there before. So it, it, it is, it is adding, <laughs> it is adding, I swear it's adding value. And again, I'm trying to ruffle it a little bit, so I don't want it to be perfectly smooth. But we're going to come through now with that lighter colour. Oh, it's really, I don't, I don't like what I've done there. I'm just going to correct that. It's only when I stand back and I think, yep, yeah, didn't like that, Sharon, get that back. At any of these stages as well, you don't have to do it's your painting, you can do it how you want it to do. Okay, now I'm liking that. I think I just keep going backwards and forwards. You can hear me on your chair, can't you? Going whoop, whoop, whoop. Sharon's going backwards and forwards. Did I see Heather here? Heather's treasures. Hello, you pop in as many times as you want, my lovely. It's just nice to know that you've popped in to visit us. If you hear some rolling, it's me just going backwards and forwards on my chair. <laughs> I am just going backwards and forwards, just trying to get this bad boy where it needs to be. Trying to get a little bit of movement, a little bit of texture. Now I'm going to come in with my light blue. And keep working it until I'm happy. Okay, where did that one go? I will post what colours I'm using by the way, but you can see I just keep adding a little bit, moving it, adding it, moving it, adding it, moving it. rocking backwards and forwards you know you could tend to just put your blue all the way out you don't have to come in with any of these darker colors if you don't want to It's almost a dry brush I've got at the minute and just dragging whatever is left on my brush out a little bit. I'm really not happy now. I've lost some of what I'm doing. Oh! Well, Charlie, my lovely! Welcome! Oh, Charlie, you are an amazing, amazing woman and that means a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you here. I'm just having a little look at chat. I'm not going to chew my brush. I am getting a bit of paint all over myself, Charlie. Uh, Patricia, oh, what are we doing here? Yeah, if I worked till I'm happy, I'd never quit. I'm a perfectionist, so it's impossible to be perfect. I can remember. It is an illusion, and that's what we're working here. Uh, I owe you a prayer, bless you. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're just going to keep working it. Oh, I put the wrong colour out again. That's not good. That's because I got too excited with Pat being here. Not, well, I am excited with Pat, I meant Charlie. <laughs> Pat, I do get excited for you as well, I promise. 
I might just stand up for a little bit. Sorry if you're going to get to see my uh, tummy and chicken wings. I just want to try and get control of this beast a little bit. And I'm just roughly dragging that brush. You can see I'm ha I'm holding it towards the end. And while you do that, it's just you're not going to push the paint. Like it's just going to grab it. I don't think I articulated that very well. I think what I'm going to do is block out all of this in the light blue to the top and then I'm going to come back and paint some of that browns that I did here at the top. The reason being, I don't know if I want it to look like I've got so much reflection at the top. So you can see the right chicken wings there. <laughs> oh dear me. So those, uh, so those Maltesers are giant buttons that Charlie keeps feeding me at work. I'm just going to have a little look at how that is. Sorry, standing back now. All right, I'm going to lighten this up dramatically now. So I'm going to maybe add. going to try and loosely do this and then I will blend it in. I think my brush is too thick if I'm being honest. Alright, taking the excess off and I'm just going to swipe it just to try and bleed out that a little bit so it's not so strong. Looks like I've got waves uh, curling on the... Uh, I was going to say, but it should look like that. So this is where you, you play tricks with your head. So when I'm looking at here, I'm thinking, well, it looks like waves are rolling in under the ocean. But it is meant to be a little bit. <laughs> I am going to lighten this up. At the minute, I'm just playing if that makes sense I'm playing I think that's the joy but I promise that by tomorrow when we come to paint on our turtle this will be done I'm gonna get some white if that's all right try and lighten it a little bit more and then I'm gonna get a smaller brush What's going on in chat anyway? Oh yeah, hit that thumbs up. Brilliant. If you could do that. Oh, stop doing me, doing I'll stop buying chocolate buttons. <laughs> uh, that's all right, Paula. You are just the time you're meant to be. Hello, Deb. Uh, I think I've said hello to everybody in here. I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying this. If anything, you know, you're probably just all entertaining each other. But I'm providing you with a nice background to be able to do it. You get to watch a bit of art come into life while you make friendships out there. Just, oh, tripped over some of there. <laughs> Alrighty, I am come in a little bit here now this is how I work don't get upset people if you're very proficient at this I can say I just go backwards and forwards until I'm happy and it works for me that's where I enjoy doing I'm just this is called scuffing <laughs> which means tying a little bit on my brush and forcing it to blend in with the other colors but it leaves a bit of a gap on your brush Alrighty, stop saying alrighty, Sharon. Alrighty, I'll stop saying alrighty, alrighty. Um, Deb, hi Sharon, just beautiful being here with everyone. Oh, Deb, I'm so glad that you're happy being with everybody. Tati, I jumped off my chair and had my boobs actually. <laughs> Don't worry, about that doesn't happen. Oh dear, uh, Paula, really nice new YouTube, but I have to say, 
You are a lovely group of people. Oh, Paul, I'm glad you're enjoying this. <laughs> oh, dear me, that was funny. All right, we're going to mix a little bit of our brown for the top here again. And if it's got any colour left in it, we're going to use a little bit of the dioxazine purple. I hope that's in shot with you. A little bit of the yellow. Although that's quite dark. And we're going to add some white. But that white's got a bit of blue in. I'm not too stressed by that. It's kind of like a purple. It's kind of like that colour there. This is actually just more or less a solid colour. So we're just going to put that in there. It's got a bit purpley as I'm putting it on. That's all right. We can add lighter shades of it as we go. But it's got to look like it's more or less going that way. So I'm going to scuff it into the blue. Because this is a reflection of the bottom. Where this water is. Oh, that's a lot of purple there. Don't stress people, we can rescue it. I'm only saying that because I'm stressing. scuffing it into that blue in that motion where it's going forward like that and then we can drag our brush back the other way just to try and blend that in and then if I want I can drag a little bit of blue back through there but I am gonna it's quite dark so I'm gonna just go in there now and lighten that up a little bit And if I really don't like it, I am going to just do it blue all the way out, just so that we get to focus on the turtle. Get the size of that white. I will sit down again, but uh, if I feel a little bit out of control with it, that's when I'm like, right, stand up, Sharon, get your game on. Put a little bit more yellow to it more white. It's lightly letting it kiss the canvas. Take it back the other way. And then I'm going to bring some blue up into it. Okay. Kinda. <laughs> Take that a little bit lighter again. It's almost white, but it's, it's not all white. Now I'm going to just try to paint on a few jagged lines. I don't know if you can see where I'm doing there. Sorry, I'm in your way. Just trying to follow where these little things are here. And don't worry if it doesn't look right to start with because nobody's reflections are perfect. And it, if you don't like it, you can remove it, you can add it. At the minute, we're just still mapping out where it's going to be. I say it's a reference photo and we're not trying to copy it, but yeah, I am. I'm not really, I'm just trying to copy the um, the shapes. Okay. This one is coming a little bit down there, like that. So 
like almost a line that goes down there. I'm just troubleshooting as we do this. And these ones are definitely thicker. Once this is dry, I can come back and add a few more little things. Ooh. going to leave that as that part is for now and try and come back with some blue and blend that through a little bit are you still with me people what have i lost what have i lost <laughs> should i say what have i missed too much on my brush there. Just trying to bring my waves in there, uh, the blue in there as though it looks like that's rolling at the top. I'm going to stand back if I like that look. lost you now aren't I because I'm just so focused on this ah! I generally don't know if I enjoy that I'm making an executive decision I'm not liking that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to map it out and use all the colours of the blue and I think that's going to work out better for my turtle are you all with me Yes, Sharon, I am. Cool, because I'm going for it. I'm going rogue. All right. Let's get this to have some of the tones that I enjoy. Quickly turn it around. So if you've just been trying to copy me for the last... Uh, <laughs> we're going rogue. Because Sharon wasn't enjoying the effects I'm going to get, considering that this is going to be mainly for my turtles. turn this around Just getting the colours roughly blended together I'm liking that a little bit more. So I'm mean, going to go over uh, some of these colours we already put on there again for the final time. You don't have to do this if you've put your painting on really thickly. That is okay. But at the same time, I want to create this illusion of this beautiful fresh water. Trying to blend it into each other. I just wasted 40 minutes of your time. 
Not really, because you're all hanging out together and having fun. Alright, so I'm going to blend that through again. The light blue, dark blue. I'm moving quick because I want to use it while the paint's wet to get some of that blend in. But this is the reality of where it's like for me. Um, you work with something, you have an idea in your head, and then you think, it's just not working for me. So you have to be brave and know when it's time to say, you know what? No, that is not working, Sharon. in with my I'm just gonna get that in here so when I come back with my turquoise blue dark blue it's gonna bleed into it nicely I'm moving quick now look that blending nice while it's wet. You try and keep a little line in the back, um, I'm trying to say, in the background, that is what helps with that illusion. work hard to blend this in with this now. Okay, need a little bit more of that dark blue there. I'm already liking that way better. Oh, nearly fell over my chair. Okay, working my way back down. Back down the colour she goes. Where she stops, no one all knows. Then I might pull a little bit more white at the top there. At the minute. Now, I need to add a bit more of that there. Trying to get some of that tone up there. I really need to, uh, Charlie. I might need to get you in my ear so you can read out what chap's going on. All right, bringing it through to my green. Lots of videos to catch up on. Oh, I'm just glad that you're all having fun. It's like the social event of Saturday night where all the cool kids hang out.
liking that that's gone too light there. Just grabbing most of the colours I've got left on my palette and dragging it through. Drag a little bit more of that blue through here. Just roughing some of those colours through, just to hopefully add to a maybe a sense of moving ocean. Who knows? All right, that line is now too harsh. So I'm now correcting my line again. But before I do that, I'm just going to add a little bit more of this. Wow, that's not where I wanted. Just enjoying painting with a brush, if I'm being really honest. <laughs> Softening that line a little bit there. Because we're no longer having a wave rolling in, so I can do that. Yeah, a little bit more of that blue. And this is the dance I do. Now, normally I edit this out for you, so you've got no, uh, no idea about the length of time risk may be taking me and that makes for a more exciting video for people that just want to get to the end okay I'm enjoying that a little bit more now still blending that through with the other colors while they're wet making my own dawns That's looking like there's a little bit of um, movement at the bottom of the ocean. I'll come round to the lighter. And yes, I'm talking quiet because I really am making an effort to talk because I've just gone into myself while I'm painting. those lighter colours now. Do I use it already? I used it. What's going on? Use a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Hey, I mean, uh, you can't blame me when I'm not even here this time blaming. What have I done? <laughs> I've just put a little bit two different tones on my brush so when I swipe it you're getting those different tones coming on the base there and hopefully making it look like it's those sand at the bottom sand I didn't mean sand but the I know where I'm there the base the base or the bottom of the base Bingo, bingo. Let's lose it to lose it. Right. A little white to blend that through. Right, I'm going to add a little bit of white at the top there. Just to 
maybe look like that's the the ocean at the top just showing through a little bit. I'll blend that in a little bit. I want to keep it quite rustic. All be on there, blend through. Yeah, I think that's adding. Oh, we got little uh, areas about to come upstairs. He's going to try and demand to get out of the uh, window. He might start saying hello to you. I'm just blending that through. Yeah, I think maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe, 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 I just want some more, a little bit more darker blue there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just bringing that down a little bit. So that it might make it look. Oh, here comes Aries. Hello, ladies. Oh, hello, Zeus. Oh, hello. You all come say hello. a little bit of white on there. I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm just going to come back with a little bit more ultramarine there. And then I just want to make sure there's a very neat thick dark blue line or really where the, the distance disappears. And then think for this it's done we don't really want to do any more for the back the backdrop in my opinion and then I'll be able to see what you've all been up to your little is it toe toe bags is toe bags even a word rat bags cheeky monkeys See what you've been up to while well, I've been just in my own little world painting. All right, I'm well happy that I chose to come back and get rid of the sandy area. I'm going to try and do that another day, but I just couldn't get it how I want. So I'm just going to try and add a little bit of shading down here. I've just got whatever's left on my brush of that blue just down here just to add a little bit of movement at the bottom. I know what I mean. I'll show you when I take it in close. And then for people that miss the demolding, I'm happy to show you the moulds again. I'll just chat with you for a little bit. Oh, that's a bit dark there. Get your brush on it quick, Sharon. Get rid of it. Get rid of the evidence. Alright, I feel that my little turtle that we're going to do tomorrow is going to sit on that beautifully. I'd love to know your thoughts. Just adding a few little different tones down here. I'm trying to make them all flat so that when we do, when we do do the turtle tomorrow, it's not going to be rigid. Oh, hello Aries. You alright, my lovely? Just using some of my paint because I don't want to huh, waste it. How bad's that, eh? Let's just slap it on here and blend it in because I don't want to waste it. I'd be happy. All right. I could keep going on and painting, but I don't want to. I want to see what you've all been up to. Answer any questions you've had or not. Right, I'm just going to 
scuff that out now. down Sharon let me bring you in close oh should I say let me bring this in let me have a little look oh. now I think there's beautiful colors in here it's not what we originally planned but that's how it all changes so we now have our backdrop for our turtle and hopefully you can see a little bit of depth there by this and because it does go out hopefully it looks interesting that it's on a different angle and you've got some beautiful colors coming in here now this white here hopefully gives you the illusion that there is that's the top where the waves are and also down the bottom here hopefully with the different tones as well it may look like it's towards the bottom of the ocean or not so we went more subjective and we meant really just want the 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 colors to be the hero i brought it all back so i was originally going to go for that it wasn't quite working out because it was too small a canvas and then that might have de detracted from our turtle that we're going to paint tomorrow so now this person we're going to bring alive here tomorrow uh, and that's what we're going to paint through tomorrow so i could start painting it tonight but i'm not i'm absolutely tired um but I want to see what you've all been up to, you cheeky little monkeys. And I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to have a little swig of my pop. I'm going to catch up with all the chat. So my tea went cold. I missed my tea. But I do have one of my favourite drinks, which is a D&B dandelion and burdock. A nice Yorkshire drink. I am not sponsored by them. What have I been missing in chat? Bye for the people that's been and gone. Thank you for the people that stayed. Um, let's have a little look what you've all been up to. So I have to look down this way, I'm afraid, when I'm reading text. But I've got, Lord, there looks like a lot of uh, messages there. That was very polite, Sharon. Don't you mean knackered? What did I say? Did I say shattered? What if I put my rose here that I made the other uh, way? Do you reckon it's... Uh... Look at that, I'm blending into my background beautifully. If only it would wrap around my ear. Yes, I am absolutely shattered. But it's okay. I don't mind doing it. You keep forcing me for Paula. Oh, I didn't want to put my flower in there. She keeps reminding me she's my conscience. Sharon, don't forget to log in tonight and do your live. Thank you, Paula. <laughs> I'm still at my other job, but I'm on my way home. I'll, I'll I'll jump on there shortly. But I love it. And I love coming on here because I know that you all appreciate hanging out. Oh, I've got it in there. Don't matter. Don't matter. It was only a prototype. And this is my inspiration for my project with Miss Felicia. I'm, I'm surrounded by oceans. I am actually seeing that in the reflection there. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that backdrop. I'm glad that at the last minute I chose to pull it back. Sorry it took you on a journey for an additional 30 minutes. It didn't need to. But that's the reality of a studio. Um, painting. You've got to keep working it until you're happy. And I think somebody mentioned before that they're perfectionists so they're never happy. Well, I get to a point where I'm happy. Like a, it, suddenly, it feels like a blurry picture that's out of focus until it comes to me where it wants to be and that's me sometimes working with the paint and the canvas and not trying to fight it that was very, very inspirational Sharon that wasn't it considering she's absolutely shattered <laughs> um, I mean I am a trooper thank you I'm a super duper trooper who's that is that Abba you're like a super duper like the gun is that even super it does it say super trooper in there I don't know um, so Bond Woman 44 thinks Stacey is super fun to talk to. You all are. We are. Thank you. <laughs> you 
you are part of the cool, cool club now. Uh, Patricia, hello sister. Am I your sister or is somebody else your sister? Paula, painting, yes, singing, maybe not. No, I know. But do you know what? I can kill any song, literally. Give me a mic, give me a karaoke, give me a go. It's not about being able to sing great. I'd be a pop star if I wanted to sing great. But what I do want to do is have fun. Have fun winding you all up as well. Super Trooper, the lights are gonna find you. Is it find you? Yes, yes, they will. Patricia, so Patricia, are you the sister to Patricia? Yes, you are, because I've just realized one's Davis and one's Harkin. It took me a while to figure that out <laughs> because I'm knackered. Paula, I still sing better than it doesn't matter about whether you sing good or not. It's like, uh, like I said, it's all about the passion. And I love to go on the karaoke with Neil. We've got one downstairs, but it's one of those sing along games where you sing a bit, they sing a bit. You've got to hit the notes. Whoever scores the most wins the game. Neil tries to put me off with his dirty little uh, um, dance moves and all that, or doing something funny. I'm like, no, it's not going to happen. So it, it turns out to be this comedy fest. Uh, Cheryl and Crisp, have you been with me the whole time? I hope I've said hello to you. Uh, Tatty, dappled sun coming through. Oh, what is Tatty? What Tatty? What are you talking about, my lovely? I've missed all the chat. I, I last last time I saw your name in here was about fifteen minutes ago. We were talking about your boobs. Are we still on about boobs? It's about enjoying everything and having fun. Absolutely is. Pair of Paula, Lise and Patricia. Now it's getting all confusing for me. <laughs> Paula, Lise Oh, my light's just dimmed. The light was on, but there's nobody home. Um, so, I want to know... Oh, did I tell you? I've told you my issue with the cats, and not I? That they're constantly going out there and finding rodents because we live near woods and coming in. And they're bringing in about three a day, even though I've put bells on collars, everything like that. I've told you about the story about the squirrel, decapitated squirrel and the mice. Have, have I told you that? Let me see if you catch up, see if I've told you those stories. Drunk paint. How fun would drunk paint be? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> uh, life short. Like, you've got to enjoy it. You absolutely do. You have to. Life, it throws us so many curveballs. It throws us so many problems. You've got to learn how to have fun. Grace, what have I missed, Grace? Um, bless you. Oh, is Heather still with us? Sending you love and positive energy. I'm trying to catch up with chat. I feel like I'm here and then I'm like, right, I'm going on my soapbox and I'm going to tell you. But I'm still wanting to know if, I've, if you've heard the story about the mice and the rodents or if you're all just ignoring me. <laughs> Ever you're welcome, my lovely. Every time I paint a turtle, I think of you, that you did it and you did a very good one. Sharon, we found out you were a lot of our... Oh, <gasps> first what? Tell me more. I like being people's firsts. Was it I was your first? Um, I don't know. What was I your first? Tell me what my first were with you. I'm intrigued. Was it that you painted the first things with me? Because I know Heather painted her first turtle with me. I think Heather painted her first turtle. No, I've said Heather twice. Heather, that you're that important. <laughs> I think Paula painted her first turtle with me. Let's see what you yeah, I'm the first of. So I I was your first YouTube channel or I'm very tired. Help me, help me out. YouTube resin tutorials. You're my first free form. Oh Cosmic Carol, your first free form resin bowl. Which one was it? I hope it was one of those lush ones. <laughs> or was it the sticky ocean one where everything stuck on me and four hours later it's still sticking to me? So Deb, your first resin tutorial. So was that the ocean one, Debs? Uh, uh, Psycho directed me to Sharon. Uh, literally a... Who's a... Pai-ho? Pai-ho. 
Pico? I don't know. Who directed you to me, Tatty? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Stacy and I found out you took our virginity. <laughs> oh, Bond woman, that is brilliant. I hope you felt I was worth it. <laughs> oh, no, pouring your heart out. Was pouring your heart out before me? Was she your first tatty? Absolutely was the ocean one. Deb, so that was the tutorial one where I spoke for one hour 45 minutes and got lots of hate for, but I'm glad that a lot of people still enjoy that and it's still building up. Sod the haters. <laughs> oh, oh, lingo bingo. We need to have some fun. I reckon that I definitely, in fact, I'm going to get my PA, which is Paula, or maybe, you know, Alison or maybe Lee, whichever one of the members wants to do it. I reckon that they need to create a word search of the words that I use so that anybody that wants to play Lingo Bingo, we can have maybe a literally a literally a bingo session of words and whoever gets it. Oh, we need to make it competitive somehow so that maybe somebody gets to win a bookmark or something like that. I'm really a big spender, eh? <laughs> oh, wait, Anna, I'm your first English creator. Wow. And even though I, hello, Zeus, Zeus has come to say hello. Are you coming up here? Come on, you going to say hello? Don't know if you can see my Zeus. You got your head up there? No, no, it's giving me a lick, so I don't know. Oh, there he is. It's come to say hello, aren't you? Hey, can you come to say hello, my lovely? Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Well, I've got, even though I'm English, I've got a little bit of Aussie in me. Not literally, but I lived out there for 16 years, so my lingo bingo's all over the way. Um, you're my first English, I just love that one, Anna. Heather Treasure, I thought I couldn't draw or paint an animal and Sharon encouraged me to try. Everyone who sees my painting is a bit, Sharon. Oh, Heather, <laughs> much love. You know what, I believed in you because I knew you could do it because I've seen your work. It was only a mind stopping you. Let your mind free. Um, who else have we got in here? Pouring your heart out was my second resin channel. I'm don't tell her. She might be very upset if she knows that I was before her. Uh, Stacy. <laughs> Just saying it makes me feel better because she's got what is it? Three hundred and twenty-four or thousand subscribers, and I've got fifty. 51 maybe, 52, 51, and I'm very proud of you all. Uh, there's only me and Lee here, the others left. Paula! Well, it's down to you then, isn't it? <laughs> uh, my first YouTube channel and everything else it entails. Aww. What happened to the... Oh, finally, Lee, somebody's clicked it. I've, I've been waiting 20 minutes for somebody to hang on. Well, my cats. We named them all, we've got Hades and Ares, so God of the Underworld, God of War, and we've got Zeus, God of God's Dogs. We went to Greece, we named them all that, and boy have the cats lived up to their name. I, if you, this is not animal cruelty, if you are triggered by the thought of cats capturing mice in the woodland area, you might want to switch off now. Uh, but we live in a woodland area and the cats go out and they find wild animals. We've tried putting collars on them and everything to stop them. I try my hardest if I know that they've got anything because they like to tease it, to save it, rescue it and set it free. But sometimes I just can't get there. Now, the squirrel was the worst thing. My dog um, walks past the art room and it makes this weird noise if he's excited with something he shouldn't have. It's almost like a oh, don't know if you can hear that, but that's the noise he makes. Anyway, he walked past there going, oh, I followed him into his cage and I'm like, what is that? And it was a massive tail coming out and I'm like, Neil, 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 come and rescue this. Neil came up, rescued the squirrel. Unfortunately, the squirrel's head was totally gone. And I'm like, oh my God, do we have somebody in our neighborhood that 
is killing people and the testing on animals and Neil's like don't be silly the cats will have just got it, it it's gone so he got it on a shovel and he threw it back into the woodland area and I'm like no you can't do that what if it you know are the cats going to find it again and bring it in he's like no it's dead they're not going to want to do that in bed asleep and then I got up to go to the toilet in the middle of the night and something caught my eye and I thought what is that anyway the cats had brought the squirrel back into our bed and I woke up and there was this squirrel dead on my bed it's not a very nice story I apologize but this is the daily events of the two cats I'm almost thinking of making them become house cats anyway when I thought it couldn't get any worse from these traumatic experiences that these poor animals are having uh, Hades came in with this big bunny rabbit in his mouth wild one again tried saving it but unfortunately it was dead at that stage and I just don't know how he is climbing over the wall and bringing it in because it's like the size of the cat itself but I'd love to know if anybody else has cats do you have the same issues because part of it is the natural instinct but part of it is it's wrong it shouldn't be happening how can I stop it uh, but let me know your dramas with animals Oh, let's have a little look. Um, told you about the cute fairy mice, not very nice stories. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're going to play hard for that book, Matt. You do that. I'm a big spender. Um, Sharon, you're a blessing to all of us. I'm going to log off now, but you're going to be. Do you know what, Bond Woman? I, I appreciate any time you spend with me. Five minutes, one minute. Uh, as long as you give me a thumbs up and come back and, and chat and support, it's all good. Uh, they really did want to give me that squirrel. It felt like a scene from uh, The Godfather. It really freaked me out. Talk to you again. Bye. Cosmic Carol, it wasn't funny. Honest to God, I, I was traumatised. Uh, Donna, good morning. Uh, from Adelaide, Australia. I had a cat as a child that brought home all sorts of animals. Worst. Oh no! <laughs> or was the chicken alive or dead? Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> Artistry, my home. Stacey, I don't have that problem in my cast, but he's totally indoors and no field around which helps and chase bugs that get in here and with that I'm okay yeah oh they're all dead I, I have never and um, everybody has their own choices when it comes to food and diet and everything like that you have your own beliefs everything like that I really enjoy my meat I apologise if that offends anybody but I do I enjoy my meat and I have never once thought about becoming a vegetarian but now I have to um, um, <laughs> rodent eating cats I feel like I need to balance out the universe and that's a big thing for me to say because it's <laughs> yeah anyway what else have we got in here so Anna yeah piglet brought in a live mouse and we're chasing it's a piglet piglets chase mice Feather. is that what they eat in the wild <laughs> yeah always oh, oh, piglet a cat have you got a cat that you call piglets or do you have piglets I'd love to know more, Stacey. Oh, it is it's very hard. It is very hard. <laughs> anyway, for people that's just joining, we have done our first... We've done the base coat. We went a little bit rogue. We've created this. It's drying. And then tomorrow we're going to paint a turtle on it. And I'm just going to show my process. I attempted to do some like little sandy areas in I didn't enjoy it so there's about half an hour you can skip forward if you're not but if you wanted to know the things that I reveal from my mould if you missed it was this beautiful goblet isn't that just stunning the detail on it it has a cute little base it has all this detail and it has a lid I just feel very royal with this. I mean, it's beautiful. That's going to go in my cabinet. I think the colours look slush on it as well. Looks quite expensive. And I also revealed my... I've got very dirty hands. This is going to be a mat for my 
teapot. But look at those colours on there. Blush. Back's not very good. It's quite transparent though. Night, night, people. Uh, but you could use that as a, you know, could be a piece of art. And then I also revealed um, my jewellery that I've created. Go to Kev because my fingers are dirty. And I showed you. So they're the backs or the fronts. Well, the backs have got a beautiful natural crackling effect in there, uh, which comes from, oh, look at that the right way. <laughs> Balance it out, look at the dirty fingers. You can tell I'm an artist. Uh, that's with having uh, powder pigments and transparent pigments. It's created its own effects, but lush. I did loads of those. Those were the reveals, but I believe, you. oh, I thought I'd drop my jewelry then and he was getting it, but he's brought me a bone. But I am going to, I promise you, I will look back over chat. I know that Paula did for me the other day and somebody asked the question, the difference between opaque and transparent. If you're watching this again, I think Paula's already responded, but opaque means it's a very dense colour or pigment and you shouldn't see through it. Um, transparent, you can see through it. I can't remember what the other question was. Where did I get my moulds from? I think that was it, Paula. Um, so you have eight cats and... Who know to bring me gifts as a as I prefer money. <laughs> um, I looked at the one like that and it has a lady on. It's best. Did I miss something there? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it's time for me to say night. I am delusional and I want to go to bed and watch a little haunted show. I do I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you so much to for people that come in, even if it's for five minutes, but I know that there's been the core set of people that's been here for most of this evening, and I really appreciate that. It means the world, because I think part of these lives, it's not to be able to show you anything earth-shatteringly brilliant, because it's very hard to do any quality art in one live in a short time whether it be resin because you, you build it up over times or your artwork you build up over times this is more about the social aspect and if you don't like that you just go on don't you or fast forward or mute my voice if you don't like it but the majority of the people that stayed here have really enjoyed um the process of the community and i think that's the most important thing and it's beautiful to know that even though i'm painting and not interacting there is a community you are really all supporting each other building great support structures for each other sharing knowledge and just having a laugh i think it's brilliant and that means the world to me and uh, it just means a lot so i'm going to try and do lives friday saturday and sunday me and neil may be going to the if i get this right paula i hope i don't say it. it's not spend up Balearic islands they've now become green i hope i've said that right and so we're looking at potentially going away for a week not this week the week after so there might be not not be no lives then but i'm hoping that i will get enough videos done so there'll be some things for you to watch while i'm away but other than that i am going to bed because i'm delirious and i don't know how to end this <laughs> much love I'll see you tomorrow night. It'll probably be early because I'm not working tomorrow. So we can start this a little bit earlier. And I just want to say thank you all so much. Bye, bye, bye.